Welcome to Digital Asset News, take a top stories in crypto current digital assets and break them down to bite-sized pieces. Today, I want to go over a, one of the most common questions that I've been getting recently, which is where can I buy the token Voyager or VGX? And this all came about as soon as I did my 2021 price predictions, uh, which I put out uh, around January 7, 2021, which was uh, what, two, three weeks ago. Today, uh, for reference, it is January 26th. It is high noon El Paso, Texas time. So uh, this has been uh, in the works for uh, at least a couple of weeks here or three weeks or so. And uh, we've had a lot of questions of people saying, hey, I can't buy Voyager. And that's one of my problems is that uh, I don't look at uh, what is going on with everybody as far as my subscribers. So I apologize, everybody. And I'm going to make this as, as crystal clear as humanly possible. So first of all, as you can see, uh, I try to do price predictions to the most realistic that I can possibly do. Like my Bitcoin prediction is 150,000. I think that's not outside the realm of possibility for this year. Uh, chain, uh, excuse me, Ethereum, I have a 10,000. Chainlink at 35. And, and some people would call these price predictions low, but that's just how I am. I, I try to play on the, uh, uh, be on the conservative side for price predictions. But there was one, which I think shocked a lot of people. And I said that Voyager, the token, is gonna go from 29 cents, which is what it was in January 7th, to thirty dollars, and that is this year, twenty twenty one. I'm not talking about twenty twenty eight or or twenty one forty or something crazy like that. I'm talking about this year. This is where I believe it's going. And if you take a look at uh, this thing called gain, uh, this it's a, it's one hundred x. And the other side is I have a probability because some things I just I give you a price prediction, but I don't really think it's going to happen. Like with EOS, I mean that I think is a dead project. Quite honestly, Dan Larimer has has stepped away from that project. He was the creator and founder. I don't have any. Uh, type of uh, confidence in that. And I gave that a three, but for for um, uh, Voyager here, I gave it a nine. It's one of the highest ones I can give it uh, besides out of uh, Bitcoin and Theta. So this all came about and people were asking me questions like, well, how did you come to that? How'd you come to that? And I actually put that out in uh, a separate video, which is, this is how I came to my number one pick. And it was a lot of data points that I actually taken from things that I had looked back in, in the past. I took a look at uh, utility tokens about what things actually, which projects are actually have real world use case utility and actually do something. Not what it's going to do, but what it's doing right now. And that was uh, expressed perfectly in Pat Ackerman's um, it was a, a medium post where he talks about token value and in investing. One of the best things I've read so far is how to value cryptocurrency digital assets and tokens out there. And it went through everything. It went through uh, talking about Metcalf's law, about how these uh, connections and how the, the, the usability and the different uh, people that actually come in and the strength of the network and how it uh, tends to grow uh, the network and how you can take a look at uh, you know what the actual utility and the supply matter is and then uh, just took a look at uh, again just uh, a Metcalf's law and just gave it a nice little slope and he took a look at um, uh, Celsius he took a look at Voyager and also he used the uh, prime example uh, by uh, Metcalf himself so it was a pretty good one and uh, so I kind of merged the two together and uh, that's pretty much how I came up with my $30 and and actually after reading a little bit more of this I thought I might might have been on the low side so also to finish up is uh, I was on Alex Mascioli's show this was a couple of days ago four days ago actually uh, four days ago three days ago somewhere in there yeah no two days ago wow and um, what this was was it was it was me Alex uh, you had CJ there from Market Rebellion and that's Pat on the uh, lower right hand corner and we all just kind of sat down and said well Pat how'd you come to all this and and what's your background Matt talks about you know he's big into he's a, a, a statistician he is responsible for for driving uh, marketing for a very large hospitality chain and that is his main thing and his passion is crypto and this is what he talked about and how he got to those numbers. And we just bounced a bunch of ideas off him. And, and it was a pretty productive um, session. So if you want to take a look at that, uh, I'll link that at the very end. And we also talk about different types of tokens, how to value different types of cryptocurrencies. We took a hard look at Celsius and Voyager and how they're connected. And uh, it was a pretty good one. So 
This is what is happening with Voyager. And Voyager, uh, when I made that prediction again, it was 29 cents. It had gone up to like $1.17, I think, at the height. And it was ranked like number, I want to say 284, 283, somewhere around there. And now it's in the top 100. So that's pretty good. And it's been bouncing around between like 100 all the way up to like 86, somewhere around there. And it's at 95 cents right now. So uh, pretty good uh, for my portfolio. And again, I think it's going to do very well. And it's one of uh, only four that I actually uh, daily purchase as far as my dollar cost averaging. So uh, let's just break into it. Let's just talk about how you buy it. Well, first of all, if you live in the United States, it's pretty simple. You just can go to investvoyager.com. Uh, uh, there will be a link. Actually, I'm going to link. I always have this linked to my exchange and wallet fees. And if you look in the description of every one of my videos, there will be a link. And all you got to do is just go to uh, any video that I have and just look in the uh, description itself. Uh, scroll down and it'll be right here. Uh, exchange and wallet recommendations. If When you click on that, it'll take you to uh, all the different uh, exchanges and wallets and brokerage that I actually use. And uh, you can uh, just download it there. Now, just so you know, all these are affiliate links, uh, of course. You don't have to use them. You can go right to uh, the actual uh, page or the actual website. But if you use the affiliate links, you get between 10 and $25 between all these different ones. And just so you know, uh, Voyager and Celsius are my one-two punch. I highly recommend them. And there's some over here that I just cannot recommend. And that's why I have them on the very far right-hand side. So. That is the easiest way uh, to download it. And uh, either if you have a Google Play or an Android or an iPhone, you can get there. So that's only for Americans that live outside of New York. If, you're in New if, you're, if you are in New York, you are stuck. Um, Voyager is working very diligently to get that bit license. And I've had Steve uh, Ehrlich, who is the CEO of Voyager, on the program two or three times. And he said, look, it's very tough. Uh, we're, we're working to get into uh, New York. They just recently purchased a institutional um, exchange, uh, LGO, in France. And they will be moving into Europe and also into Canada. And they're looking to do that in quarter two of this year. So look for that in uh, April, May, June, somewhere around there. Maybe Canada might be a little bit uh, earlier, but that's what we have. So right now, this is what we have. In America, you can use the Voyager app. Outside of that, uh, in New York and outside of that, you can't use it. So where would you get the VGX token if you wanted to purchase it? Well, you can get it on Binance. It's not the VGX token. It is the BQX token. Uh, if someone could explain to me why that is, maybe it's because uh, from the old days of when it was called Ethos or something like that, maybe that's what it was, but they just haven't transferred over for whatever reason to VGX. So the Voyager token is BQX. So look for BQX, which is right here, BQS, Voyager token. And uh, that is what you will need to actually purchase it. And then of course, you can, if you need a wallet, you can use the Nano Ledger. The Nano Ledger uh, does support the Voyager token. So just so you know, if you don't want to leave it on an exchange, you can use your Nano Ledger. So that is the second one. And I think that covers a lot of different people. So let's say that you can't use the Voyager app in America, you can't use Binance for whatever reason, uh, you're like, you know what, I just can't. Maybe you're like New York and you're just stuck. Sorry, New Yorkers, that sucks for you. So what you can do is you can use SimpleSwap. And SimpleSwap, again, it is also in the exchange of wallet fees. If you just scroll over a little bit, uh, SimpleSwap is right here. There's no sign up. You can just click right there and start using what? it. First of all, what is SimpleSwap? SimpleSwap is also a brokerage, just like Voyager. Uh, which means it's integrated into the largest cryptocurrency stock exchanges. That's kind of weird they say that, but whatever. There is no deposit storage, only instant coin exchange on our service. We're able to find the most profitable exchange rate for our customers in a very short time. So when I talk about a brokerage, what is that? Well, it's the same thing as Voyager. Voyager isn't an exchange. They're a broker. They're like the hotels.com of cryptocurrency. So what does that mean? When you want to go to... Uh, Let's say you want to vacation and you want to go to Florida. You're like, I want to look for a hotel. We can go to every individual hotel chain. Like, I want to check out this Motel 6. I want to check out this Double Tree. I want to check out this Motel Zero, whatever you're checking out. Uh, if you do all that, it would take you a long time. Or you just go to Hotels.com and say, I want to stay here. Find me the cheapest and best. And that's what it does. It, it looks at all the different hotels. That's what Voyager does. It connects to... and they. And I never get a clear answer on this, but it's somewhere between 10 and 13 different exchanges that they use. I think it's actually higher. And they go through all these different exchanges and find you the best rate. 
and then they make their profit. They don't charge you a fee, but they make it on the spread, which is fine. I'm cool with that. I mean, look, if you're going through Coinbase, good luck. So that's what they are doing. And Simple Swap pretty much does the exact same thing. And uh, I've had no problems with them. Actually, there was one time when I had an issue with getting Theta. I was look, I was trying to buy Theta on here and something went wrong. I actually just clicked on this tab right here, this uh, communication. And it was awesome because like I got it resolved like almost immediately. It took them like four hours to fix everything. And it wasn't really even a fix. It was just like, hey, you just got to wait a little bit longer. And I was impatient like, <laughs> like we all are. So that's pretty cool. And then it says, why should I trust SimpleSwap? It's a project created for convenience. Our users don't need to create accounts or store deposits on our service. Thanks to this, the customers are protected from any kind of financial theft. We provide the best rates comparing a wide range of reliable trading platforms. So when I talk about how you can put Voyager into your nano ledger, you're going to need that because right here, what do you want to use? You want to use Bitcoin, Ethereum. I don't know if Ethereum actually works. Yeah, it does work. Ethereum to Voyager. And then this is what you want. Do you want Monero? Do you want, I don't know, Aave? Sure, it's right there. And then, But you have to put in the actual cryptocurrency address. So that's why like if you have Voyager, let me search for that again whoops then you're going to need an actual voyager address to put in there so to see exactly how to use simple swap uh, it's actually quite easy uh, but I, it's uh, there's there's a couple of steps that you need to know just go over to danteachescrypto.com there is a link in the description on all my videos it's at the very very top it'll say something like this 100 uh, percent free some of my education click right here and it'll take you to Dan teaches crypto and then just click on start learning you'll sign up and then once you are actually in the members area which will look something like this there's me and my big head and uh, this is where everything that you need to know for cryptocurrency and here's what's great about the website 100% free always is always will be and that's how it is so if you're looking for like it's actually in module 5 how do I how do I use simple swap and if you're looking for like well how do I you know, I don't want to go through this whole website, which is not that much. But if you're impatient like I am, you want to find your thing, just uh, just scroll down. Here's my table of contents right here. And it says right here, uh, how do I buy? Th uh, here's a simple swap tutorial. So it's in how do I module content. So, OK, I will click on how do I and it'll go to how do I buy theta simple swap tutorial. So this will tell you how to buy theta, but it's the exact same thing for uh, Voyager. And you just watch that video. It's seven minutes long. Pretty simple. You can use do that and also for uh, Celsius, how to buy Celsius. So then that is the third way to buy it. And for some reason, you're like, I don't want to use Simple Swap. I don't want to use uh, Binance. I don't want to use, I can't use the, the Voyager app. Then you can go to Uniswap. So Uniswap's a little bit more tricky. It's not that tricky. So Uniswap, there's the, the fees are going to kill you. I'm just telling you right now for Ethereum, maybe if they go down, it won't be so sucky, but that's what it is. So if you're looking for, so let's say, you know, you have everything connected. You want to put uh, 0.10 Ethereum and you want to select the token. And if you're looking for, sometimes I'll see if I have it. Close. Uh, yeah, so it's 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 there right there. And the only reason it's there is because I have, if you click on manage, I have the coin gecko list on. So if I had that off, let me go back. And I clicked on Voyager there, it's not there. It, it's just, it doesn't exist. So what you gotta do is you gotta click on manage, you got, I've got the Gemini token list on. I don't know why, but okay. Uh, and then CoinGecko, I have to turn this on and then go back and then put in Voyager. And there you go. And there it is, Voyager. I get 146, look at me. So again, if you're looking at how to use uh, Uniswap, there's there's a Uniswap tutorial right there. So I hope that answers everybody, everybody's question. I've had so many questions about how to buy Voyager since I made that price prediction that I had to put this video out and I will probably be putting this video somewhere right around here in the uh, website itself. So again, this is not financial advice. This is just what I am doing. And this is the reason why I'm doing it. I don't like to give like these crazy whacked out predictions. I'd like to, you know, keep things grounded. But I truly believe that Voyager, because it actually has a specific purpose and a function, and there's a lot of great things that it can actually do or is going to do. So I, I think it's 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 a it's a win-win situation for all. So if you're looking at, uh, and me and we all talked about this when we had Pat on, and he said, you know, he asked us a basic question. What does your token do 
and why so why did you actually buy it and i was like hmm, that's a good question because <laughs> some of these i'm like these don't really have uh, real world function yet so we will see anyhow uh check that video i'll link at the very end along with the price prediction and again just go to uh, dantinscripto.com for the rest of the stuff so thanks for watching i uh, really appreciate it and also if you could do me a big favor if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're already here you might as well subscribe and uh, i'll see you on the next one